Hey Joe, it's folks here. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a print-on-demand design trend that has personally made me over six figures in sales. We're gonna review what the trend is, more importantly, when you should start selling it. I'll also review who should actually do this. And I'll give you three awesome ways to make best-selling designs and research viral concepts. We'll also review some great print-on-demand products that you could actually make designs for. And I'll show you how I personally market these types of designs on social media. And if you stay to the end, I I will show you some of my best-selling designs. That way you can see really great examples that have personally sold well for me. If you are brand new to this, I do have a free course. There's a link down in the description. Inside are over 30 videos showing you how to get started. The trend we're talking about is selling election-themed merch. As I'm making this video, it is July 25th. In the United States, we have an election on November 5th. It's actually something that Printify recently put together a stat pack for. If you haven't seen stat packs from Printify, I will put a link down in the description as well as the pinned comment of this video. They basically review a bunch of key information about various trends that we can sell as print-on-demand sellers. Obviously, if you already have a print-on-demand store going and it has nothing to do with the election cycle, then maybe this trend is not for you. However, one of the ways that you can sell this merchandise is through cross-niching. Let's say that you had a store based on a specific hobby or a specific profession, you could blend that profession or hobby with something to do with politics. Then you could launch some sort of a limited collection on your store to take advantage of this trend. Another way to do this is to focus on specific locations. You can see they list three popular states on here. Obviously, if you focus on just specific states, then the actual audience is going to be a little bit smaller, but it could be more passionate. A third tip is to focus on love, not hate, like it says on here. No matter what side of the aisle you are on, there are causes that people believe in that you can showcase in your designs. And ultimately, that is the type of things that people will buy during the election cycle. On here as well, Printify has some products that could be good options. In the video a little bit later, I'm going to give you even more options that I think are a little bit better than some of these and could potentially make you more profits. Obviously, though, one of the major ways to succeed with this trend is to take advantage of things that go viral. What I'm talking about is different things on social media that happen that have to do with the election cycle. For example, a few weeks ago, you guys all know what happened. I have been seeing videos like this all over the place as I have been doing research. You can see that people have been very quick to turn what happened into a shirt design. I've also seen this popping up on lots of other products as well. One of the best ways to find trends is to look at trending topics here on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. I still call it Twitter. One thing we see right here is hashtag we are not going back. That hashtag is actually a quote that Kamala Harris just said during a speech. Something like that it could be something that you put on different merchandise. Obviously, you'd want to have more than just text there. Some sort of graphic illustration or even different colors. You can see here on the stat pack, it says that the red color does the best and ultimately create a design based on something that one of the candidates actually said. Obviously, some of you will have questions about copyrights and trademarks with that. Personally, I am not a trademark expert, but I don't think that if someone just says something in public that you would be liable if you were to put that on a shirt. However, I am not a lawyer, so do your own research. Another way is to monitor TikTok. Sometimes you will actually see actual shirts and other types of merch being created, something like this here. After the Republican National Convention a week ago, this shirt went viral. Hulk Hogan, if you don't know, was at the event. He basically tore his shirt off at the end, and I have been seeing tons of shirts being created with a design about that. Another way is to jump on Amazon. I've just typed in election 2024 shirts. Obviously, you could type in different things as well, not just election 2024. You could focus on specific issues. You could focus on specific candidates as well. You'll also see cool, funny design ideas like this, where there's not actually a candidate being featured in the design, more so just some comedy about the election. Another way is to follow various political pages on Facebook. I saw this post pop up yesterday, basically talking about a major fundraising event for one of the candidates. I have also seen different shirts pop up that people are referencing this record-breaking fundraising that took place. From time to time as well, you will also see these political pages posting memes or talking about trending topics, and that could be a great way for you to get great ideas. The same thing is true with Instagram pages. You could follow different politically affiliated pages that will post different things to give you different ideas or to alert
alert you to different trending topics. Sometimes you'll also even see celebrities pop up wearing different items. Obviously, you wouldn't want to just rip off a design that you see someone already wearing, but it could give you ideas to create your own. Obviously, when it comes to products, t-shirts are going to be one of the key items people are trying to sell for this trend. I, however, have a few more ideas for you that could make you a little bit more profit and be a little less saturated. One great option could be a flag for people to hang on the outside of their house. This one here is from Printify. I do have some product reviews of this on my channel. Printify also has this version here where it's a little bit smaller. It could hang on a mailbox or on some sort of a post. This concept could also be used by selling a yard sign like this with the print on demand company called T-Launch. You can see they actually do have a voting theme design as one of their mock-ups here. Obviously, depending on the side of the aisle that people are on, they could showcase different things about their side in their yard with one of these products. Another great option from Printify could be print on demand bumper stickers. Obviously, the profit margin on these might be quite low. I would recommend selling them in some sort of a bundle to increase your average order value. You can also get car bumper magnets from T-Launch as well. As people are driving around, they could sort of showcase their preferred candidate on their car. That is a very common product already for people, so it is a great logical choice. The key to choosing good products for election theme merchandise, I believe, is to give people unique ways to actually showcase their interests or which side of the aisle they are on. You wouldn't want to choose products like posters for inside of the house or blankets or pajamas or anything like that. You want to focus on on-the-go type things that are visible to the public. Another option that people bring with them all the time is their phone case. Printify has over a dozen different phone case options in here. Obviously, creating a phone case for someone to use during the election cycle could be a great option. In a moment, I'm going to show you some of my own designs, and one of them is actually a phone case. I also think that any sort of drinkware, any unique tumblers, or anything like that could be great options for this. Inside of Tea Launch, they have tons of different mugs. They also have some really unique engraved tumblers made from really great materials. You can see here that the designs are etched into the actual tumbler, so you can see the stainless steel showing through. Printify also has a lot of those options. However, many of theirs are not actually engraved. Your design is getting printed on it. That is not a deal breaker. I'm just trying to highlight the differences between the two. Here's a print-on-demand store that has a design based on one of the viral trends we talked about on a beach towel. Both T-Launch and Printify here also have beach towels. Again, we are in the middle of the summer, so selling products like this for people right now could be a great option, especially if you have a great design featuring something about the election. As I mentioned at the beginning, if you do need help actually setting up your store and installing print-on-demand suppliers and publishing designs to your store, I do have a free course linked down in the description. It's called POD for Dummies Insider Over 30 videos showing you how to build your store and get started with social media marketing, which is one of the best ways to actually sell these types of products. Obviously, if you are running ads, there could be some things that various social platforms will block you from doing because they don't actually allow a lot of political-based advertising. Obviously, merch is different, so just be careful with your messaging to make it not seem like you are trying to raise money for a candidate or something like that. The best way, though, is to use an influencer. This is something I've documented here on my channel for a little while. It is something I have used to personally make daily print-on-demand sales. The idea is if you can get one of your products in the hands of a content creator that's a part of your niche. For this specific example, we'd want to find content creators that are creating politically based content and we would want to get them a sample of our product in exchange for a shout out. They would then be able to show their audience your item and potentially give you lots of traffic to your store. Again, like I said, this is something I have documented quite a bit here on my channel. One of the things that I like to do is to set up a long-term partnership with the content creator where they can actually earn commissions on sales that they generate. I would definitely check out some of my other videos if you want to learn more about that. And as promised, I want to show you some of my own designs that I've personally sold. These two designs here are obviously for different sides of the aisle, which like I said before, is a smart thing to do. Obviously, if your store leans one way or the other, or if any niches that you are cross-niching it with would prefer a specific side, obviously cater to that. However, in the past, I have ran lots of stores and I have done lots of different things and I have sold to both sides of the aisle. What we have here first is an ugly Christmas sweater. This is a really cool and simple design for people on that side of the aisle to showcase the candidate that they like, especially when attending holiday parties or even just around the holidays. The other one is a phone case. If you don't know what the hat is that the Statue of Liberty is wearing, I would suggest you look up the pink hats. I'm not going to say the name that some people call them here on my channel. 
You can look that up if you want to know what it's called. But both of these designs are perfect examples of giving people on both sides of the aisle the ability to showcase which candidate or which causes they actually are fighting for. And ultimately, like I said at the beginning of this video, November 5th is election day. Today, as I'm making this video, is July 25th, which means we have a few months for you to actually get started with this. Personally, I am running two print-on-demand stores right now, and both of them I don't think would fit into anything to do with the election, so I am going to be sitting this one out. Even though for the last election cycle in 2020, I did a lot of different designs. Down in the comments below, if you have any questions, please let me know. Hopefully this has been helpful. And like I said, if you want to get your own stat pack from Printify, I will put a link down below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.